How have you been? Do you remember the last story? What was the story? The girl got lost, but the boy came up to the girl and told her, let's find the way together. Yes, and from now on, these two kids are going to find the way together. Would you like to go on a story trip with these two friends? The two children went on their way and came to a fork in the road. The girl asked, which way should we go? Then the boy said, well, I do not know where to go. Let us close our eyes and ask to get directions. Then the two closed their eyes and said their wishes in their hearts. Yes. The two kids were walking along the way and they found two ways to go. So let's draw a fork in the road today. A fork in the road means the road is divided into several ways. I'm going to use crayons today, not colored pencil. When you open this, it contains various colors. I'll try this today. I'll color this with a color similar to the ground. Now let me show you the way to go here. So from here is one way and there will be two ways. I will show that this one way is divided into two ways. So I've drawn the way divided into one side and the other side. Yes, it's divided into two ways. Think about which way you should go too. And there will be some grass and flowers in the rest of it. If there are pretty flowers around, isn't it more fun to go this way? So I'll draw some flowers here. I'm going to draw big and small flowers. First, I'll draw a middle circle in orange. And then I'll draw circles around here like this. And the number of circles depends on you. So please draw as many as you want to. I will draw them in orange and then I'll draw one in pink next. And these circles come together to form a flower. Yes, and then I'll color it red like this. I'll draw the top too. I'll also try to draw flowers which have a round bottom and look like a bubble in red. Draw a round part that's convex upwardly on the sides too. I'll also try to draw the same flowers in red. There are flowers around you. Look at them closely and try to draw them yourself. Then let's draw the stems. First, draw down a long way in yellow green and then draw an oval of leaves on both sides. Hard, isn't it? So draw the stem down and then draw ovals on both sides. And draw the ovals green. I will also draw a flat leaf and then draw the stem to the circle in a darker color. Again, I've 
colored all the four stocks green. And I'll try to draw some grass here. You can draw the grass with convex lines like you learned last time. You can draw the leaves without drawing them one by one. So, let's color them together. I'll color the flowers first with crayons. Pick your favorite color. I'll color yellow petals. Please color the part you want to color like this. Especially when the colors are mixed. Please color the bottom of the flower. And color some orange here, like this. Color more. alternately with two colors. And you can use green together. You can fill it in with your favorite colors. Shall we color it red too? Yes, it's almost all colored, isn't it? Yes, and color the leaves on the bottom. Great if you could color the leaves with similar leaf colors instead of just one color. The blades of grass are almost all colored. It's prettier if you mix the colors up. The flowers are all colored. Next, we'll use our paint. Let's prepare the materials. First of all, don't put too much water in the container. And a brush and a palette are just what you need. If you open the palette like this, there are little boxes. We can put the paint in these boxes. I'll start with one color first. I'll try it in this section. Yes, I tried it with red. If 
you put all the colors in the boxes and then let them dry for a day, they will all be hardened. Then you can mix that hardened paint with water. I have already squeezed some paints out onto the palette. The paints will be hardened next time, but we can use the paint as it is today. So if you dip the brush in the water like this, it gets wet. water like this and then I will paint the ground first. Can you see that the color is similar to the ground here? I put this color on my brush. Dip the brush in and rub it down here to check the color. Yes, if you check this, you can paint this side of the road like this. When you paint like this, the water is gone and the brush becomes hard to move. That means we need more water. So dip the brush in the water. Once again, check the color and paint it on the road again. When you're painting, if you rub too hard, the paper comes off. So do not rub it so much that the paper peels off. You can do this once or twice, and again, there's no water. And dip the brush in the water, put it in the paint, and paint the ground. And then dip the brush in the water again. So check the color and paint the rest of the ground. Yes, the paint dries soon, as it's already done here. So, if you want to make it a bit darker, you can put water on the brush again and apply it once more to make it more colorful. So please check if the paint has dried yet, and if it has, paint over it. Yes, I'll paint the grass here. We're going to paint it in a different color. So wash the color out of the brush in the water. Wash it to remove the color. Then we're going to apply the color here again. So let's paint green. I'll check this color and then paint it. You colored with crayons here, right?
like this, the crayon stays without moving. So you can paint well without covering the things that were drawn with the crayons. Please check the color again and then paint again. If there's not enough water, Continue to apply water and paint to the brush. And I'm going to paint this top in dark green. Paint so broad and wide in this dark green. I think it would be nice to mix it with the color I used before. water on it and mix the two colors together. Yes, then I'll paint the last one. yellow are friends. I'll paint the yellow friend a little bit like this. If it's mixed, it becomes a bright green color. Isn't it beautiful because the colors are mixed? It's okay if you mix the colors and then they touch the other colors. Don't worry because you can wash it out with water. Paint it in this bright light green again, and I'll express it a bit differently, even though it's the same grass. Shall we add a little bit of yellow to make it brighter? Yes, I think I painted it all. Yes, it's complete. Yeah. How was your class today? If I was the main character in this story, even if I met a fork in the road, it would be so good because of the scent of the flowers around. I want to see the beautiful flowers that each of you have painted. I guess they will be even more beautiful than the flowers I painted. So, I hope all of your friends grow up like pretty flowers. I'll see you again next time. Bye!